cardioplegia. A. What are the purposes, typical composition and physiological actions of cardioplegia solutions? Purposes of these solutions include myocardial protection and facilitation of surgery. Cardioplegia solutions enable cardiac arrest in diastole and manipulation of the extracellular environment reduces metabolic activity and its deleterious consequences during suboptimal perfusion. These solutions also cool the heart. Surgery is facilitated by producing a still and relaxed heart with bloodless field. Typical composition and physiological actions. Potassium concentration is high, about 20 millimoles per liter. This enables a rest of the heart in diastole. High extracellular potassium levels prevents repolarization of myocytes and inactivation of the fast inward voltage sensitive sodium channels important in phase 0 of the action potential. There is also high concentrations of magnesium in these solutions. This prevents magnesium loss from the cells, maintaining its role as an enzymatic cofactor. Magnesium also competes with calcium to reduce calcium-induced contraction. These solutions have low concentrations of calcium, less than that in the plasma. Reduced calcium availability for contraction reduces myocardial activity. The presence of calcium helps maintaining cell membrane integrity. Sodium and chloride concentrations are near normal plasma levels. Low sodium concentrations can be used as a mechanism to induce cardiac arrest. Other ingredients include buffers such as bicarbonate, histidine or others. This offsets metabolic acidosis associated with ischemia. Mannitol is added to increase the osmolarity of the solution, which reduces tissue edema. Procaine is added to reduce arrhythmias at reperfusion. Blood is added to increase oxygen carrying capacity. B. By which routes can solutions of cardioplegia be administered? Administration of Cardioplegia solutions may be anterograde or retrograde. In anterograde administration, a cannula is cited at the ascending aorta or coronary ostea. For the solution to reach all of the myocardium, this depends on adequate root pressure, good coronary perfusion, and competent aortic valve. In retrograde administration, a cannula is cited into the coronary sinus and the solution is administered. C. What are the possible complications of cardioplegia solution administration? Complications should include that due to method of administration and that due to cardioplegia. Possible complications include direct damage associated with the cannula, failure to attain widespread cardiac perfusion with cardioplegia. This leaves areas of myocardium warm and active while ischemic. Fluid overload may occur. Myocardial edema, hemorrhage and injury due to high infusing pressures. Postoperative electrolyte derangements which increases risk of arrhythmia. Air emboli in the coronary arteries due to air bubbles in the cardioplegia solution. Use bubble traps.